What if a flap fitting could virtually disappear into the cabinet wall? In this video, I'm going to be answering that question and others, so let's get started. Hello, and welcome to another tutorial from the Grass Academy. I'm Dominic, and this video is about the new Kinvaro T-Slim flap fitting. This year, we're extremely proud that it was awarded the 2020 Red Dot Design Award. And it's not only incredibly attractive, but also extremely efficient. It's available in different versions. And today, we're looking at two different things. First, we'll install the Tipmatic Plus version with a screw-on adapter. This means that if it isn't possible to mill the sides, this adapter bracket is the right way to go. Back here, I've already finished assembling the unit. And as you may already know, or have guessed, the Tipmatic version can easily be opened without a handle. And the Tipmatic Plus version assists this opening movement. There are a few more settings to be made, and we'll have a look at them now. I hope you enjoy the show. Let's start with installing the flap fitting on the right-hand side. First, we have to put the front to one side. Turn the cabinet upright and go through what we need step by step. Let's take a look at the right-hand side of the fitting. And what do we see? There are, of course, integrated adjustment possibilities. Then we have here the screw for the integrated opening angle reduction clip which limits the whole thing from 107 degrees to 75 degrees. Then at the bottom here, we have the scale for the stepless spring force adjustment. And if you turn the whole thing over, then we can see the letter R for right. We can also see this mortise, which runs along in a 90 degree angle and two positioning pins, which are important for positioning both the milled version as well as the assembly adapter. Now, I'd say that we first fit the small cover cap, which is important and is always mounted before the fitting, regardless of whether it's screwed on or milled in. You push it in, hold it, and clip it on. The cover cap is then fitted. Now, let's take the adapter bracket. Right and left are also marked here. And there's a small defining breaking point at the front. This is what the adapter bracket looks like when you get it. There is a defined breaking point here and when you open it, you just break it apart. You can then open it at a 90 degree angle. Then we have two pins at the correct distance. These are slightly raised and they engage perfectly with our positioning studs. Which means we can now attach the adapter bracket and clip it on. And we're almost ready for assembly. There is also a stop at the front. Now I can insert the fitting into the cabinet, push it against the top shelf and move it backwards. And now I have an automatic stop point here, which can be broken off later with a screwdriver or tool. Now let's take a look at assembly with the screws. We need four screws. And I'll now show you the mark where the screws are inserted. We need four screws for this. These are included in the set with the adapter bracket. And we can now screw the fitting on firmly. We have to check that the whole thing is in contact with the top panel. And pay attention to the mark on the front stop. Position 
The position for the screws are marked in each case to ensure that they're fitted correctly. The fourth screw is inserted diagonally into the top panel. That looks good. And now we do the same thing on the left side. We first break the small cover cap and the mounting bracket again. And this is how it's fitted. Now we can break off the stops on the left and right towards the side. Now we have everything prepared and also fit the Tipmatic pin. The pin is mounted and the cabinet is fitted. Let's now take a look at how to assemble the front, which means that we first have to install the front connection. Here, you can see the milled grooves on the left and right. They are 13.6 millimeters deep. Then we need two front connections, one for left and one for right. Four screws, two of each, and a cordless screwdriver. Before you fit the front connections into the milled grooves, you can see here that right and left are also marked here on the sides. These are the connections, and we put them in the milled groove on the right and left hand sides and screw them on. These are attached with two screws on the left and two on the right. The front connections are now fitted and we can hang the cabinet on the wall. Next, we have to fit the flap and now I'll show you how this works. The cabinet is mounted on the wall. Now we hook on the flap and adjust the whole thing correctly depending on the weight of the flap. We have two marks on the left and right to help you fit the front connection more easily. Then tilt the flap down slightly. It clicks into place. Then we can remove the red safety clip. What you'll notice is that the spring force on the flap is not yet correctly adjusted. It can be adjusted exactly as required. So it's best to use a cordless screwdriver and turn the front screw to the middle position. There's a slot scale on the side where you can easily read off how much spring force you've set. It drops slightly and we then have to readjust it a little. And now it stays in place. You can adjust it exactly as required. Now it can be opened up to here. If you want to increase the opening angle, then you just go up with the spring force. This means more tension. We can do this straight away on both sides, and then you immediately notice the difference. When I close and open it again, you can see that the opening angle has increased significantly. The spring force has now been adjusted. Now we come to the small metal plate for the Tipmatic pin. We have to remove the film on the back, 
and position it on the tip buttock pin, straight and exactly in the center. And now we can close the flap. Press it briefly. And now the magnet, tipmatic pin, holds the flap closed. And if I open it here, now, then the flap opens automatically. Now let's take a look at the adjustment options, once on the left and one on the right. These are the side adjustment, the height adjustment, and of course, also the depth adjustment. To correctly adjust the height and depth of the flap on the side three-dimensionally, it's best to use a PosiDrive Tip 2 screwdriver to open the flap. And the adjustment options are available here on the left and right in the front connection. The first screw, the lower one, is for the height adjustment. The top one is for the depth. And now we have a special situation. The screw for the side adjustment is only on the left side of the fitting because the right side is floating. That means if I adjust the side on the left-hand side, the right-hand side is automatically adjusted as well. Now we have to see what the height looks like. On the right side, it should be a tiny bit further up. That means we adjust the front screw. That's fine. And now let's look at the depth. It should be a bit further out at the top. That looks good too. Let's see what else we can do. That's fine. And finally, let's do the side adjustment. This is almost okay. A little more to the right. If I want to adjust the flap to the right, I have to turn the screwdriver anti-clockwise. Now we've adjusted all three sides and the cabinet is ready. Let's look at how to limit the flap to 75 degrees. There's an integrated opening angle reduction clip. Currently, we've adjusted the spring force to the flap weight so that the flap reaches almost 107 degrees, which is the maximum opening angle. To adjust the flap to 75 degrees, we naturally have to reduce the spring force first. Otherwise, the flap would hit the stop with full force. For this, I use my cordless screwdriver and simply lower the spring force. To move the screws, the flap must be positioned below 75 degrees. And it's then possible to move the screw. It isn't possible to adjust the screw beforehand. And now you can see that the opening angle is now limited to 75 degrees. To remove the flap, you'll need a small, thin screwdriver. Place it at the front on the lever arm. Pull the small lever towards you. Do the same on the other side, and you can easily unhook the flap towards the top. If the lever arms are in the cabinet, then I have the solution with the integrated emergency release. To get the lever arm out of the fitting again, put a screwdriver in the slot at the back and press the lever outwards with the screwdriver. A piece then comes out and you can then easily open it. I can then do this on both sides. 
and now it's possible to put the flap back on. The side cover caps are first inserted at the top, then clipped on at the side on the bottom. Now everything is assembled and adjusted. We can close and test the whole thing again. It works perfectly, and the Kinvaro T-Slim fitting is now fully installed. If something still needs to be adjusted, then you know how to go about it. Now you've seen everything that's possible with the Kinvaro T-Slim. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram, and I wish you all a lot of fun in the meantime when implementing your great projects. We'll meet up again for the next video. And if you have any questions about this product or others, please write in the comments below. Have a look at the info box because it contains other exciting information. Until then, bye for now.